Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to increase PHP memory on GoDaddy. So before we start, of course, the first thing that you would like to do is just go and open whatever browser you are going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section, simply type godaddy.com and hit the enter button. Of course, that should take you into this page. And if you're facing any issues with the language, as I faced in my first time in this website, you'll have to scroll down until the bottom of it and make sure to change the country or region, which will take the or which will change the language with it. Of course, if you want even to change the currency, that will be possible. So now I will have to go back and log in into your account if you have one. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create one. Of course, you will be able to do both options as this top right corner option, you will find the option to create or even log in into your account. Once you did one of those two options, you'll find yourself on this screen, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Get on GoDaddy website. So as we said at the beginning of the video, we would like to increase the PHP memory. So on GoDaddy, of course. So the first thing is just go to your uh, account, click at your name, go to my products until you find yourself in this my products page or the products page. Of course, if you have, if you scroll down a bit, you'll find a WordPress section like this additional product section and etc. Of course, you'll find it right here. Make sure to open it up and click at manage. You'll find the manage like this. And once you have the access uh, files in your my, uh, managed WordPress account, you will have to locate the file wp-config.php in the root directory or folder. Of course, you'll have then to double click the wp-config and select edit option. Then simply you'll have to find the line slash that's all, stop editing. And right above the line in step five, you will have to add a code. Uh, I can write it here in the URL. You'll have to add this code, define, open this, wp underscore memory, memory underscore limits. And this course, then this, this again, and 256 then this again then close it of course you will have to type this code then simply select save and you will be good to go so this will be actually for this tutorial I hope you like it thank you guys for watching and goodbye